Okay, guys, now let's go to Galileo. Hola, Andreu. Hello, hi, how are you? Good. Welcome. How are you? All good, all good. And you? Good. So, what do you have for us today? So, we have a couple of cocktails and a couple of dish. Okay. All right, cool. Um, we're going to start off with a uh, dry martini, Ooh. our Galileo martini. Nice. Right? Cool. Are you thirsty now? Um, yes, very. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, we're going to start preparing it for you. Let's do it. So, this is our is one of our um, signature cocktails mm -hmm. and it's a bone dry martini really spirit forward but full of flavor okay. right we've got a few different ingredients in that but we're gonna pre-batch it okay. and uh, use it from the bottle so okay. it's a martini that has the flavor of hazelnut strawberry and tomato all together oh nice right And the garnish is pretty peculiar. This is an oil mm -hmm. that we make in our kitchen with the flavor of uh, parsley. Oh. Right? So it's going to be bright green. Look at this. Oh, so that's beautiful. Every time you catch one of these dots with your uh, mouth, the oil is going to coat your palate, change the texture, and so the flavor. And there we go. I hope you're thirsty enough. I am. Cheers to Galileo. Cheers. Ooh, I've had many martinis till now, but this flavor profile is very interesting. Thank you. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Since you like it this much, I'm gonna show you one of the secrets behind the, the preparation of the drink, which is almost scientific. Ooh. <laughs> show sure. me at the lab. Wow, so, I am in a science lab. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so this is an instrument that they use in um, laboratories of uh, chemistry and uh, perfumery. So this is called a rotary evaporator and it's a distiller. So what we do with this, we take a liqueur, a frangelico, which is a uh, hazelnut liqueur. And what we do, we separate the uh, spirit from the, um, let's say, syrup. Right. So we use the syrup, the leftover syrup for our coffees. Okay. All right. And the uh, hazelnut spirit is inside uh, the martini, complementing the flavor profile with the strawberry and tomato. Right. Kind of weird, right? And so you do it three times, one for tomato, one for strawberry. Exactly. And then get three types of them and then mix them together. Exactly. In different proportions. Which makes the syrup in the bottle. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Actually, Andrea, why don't you tell everybody a little bit about yourself and Galileo? I would be glad to. So yeah, I'm um, the director of Galileo and I'm one of the owners as well. Um, I started my career in the hospitality industry about 10 years ago when I moved to Australia. Then I um, came back to Europe uh, to join the team of uh, Paradiso when it first opened. Then after two years, I moved to Vancouver to experience a little bit of the North American take on the hospitality industry. Then I came back to Barcelona and back to Paradiso when we entered in the 50 best bars. And uh, the same year, I won a uh, global cocktail competition. Then... Um, Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, in uh, 2019, uh, I joined the group of Galileo. So Galileo is a, a cocktail bistro in the heart of the Echample area in Barcelona. It's super centric. It's not only a restaurant and it's not only a cocktail bar. So actually here at Galileo, since we got a really cool kitchen, we do pairings between cocktails and food. I've actually come here three times and right. had the food and cocktail pairing all the time. Awesome. <laughs> I I'd highly recommend the food and cocktail pairing here, guys. <laughs> so the perfect pairing for this um, cocktail is our Galileo beef tartare. So it's prepared with a fassona beef, which is a cow of denomination of origin from uh, Piedmont. The peculiarity of this beef is it um, super lean 
and um, we use some uh, mayonnaise to to make a color contrast on the in the plating of the dish. The yellow mayonnaise is uh, with white truffle, and the pink one is with beetroots and pickles. Then we use some uh, certification of hazelnut oil on top, and then we grate some fresh uh, hazelnut. And all of this is paired with uh, carazao bread, which is a super typical bread from uh, Sardinia, and uh, has to be eaten like like as a tostada will be eaten. Mm -hmm. So this is the perfect pairing for our Galileo Martini. That sounds delicious. So Ash, would you like to try another drink? Yes, that would Fantastic. be good. Well, you know what? I feel a little bit sore today. Why, why don't you make it? I see. So <laughs> I'm your bartender? Of course. Okay, challenge accepted. <laughs> Ready? Cool. This is going to be a shaken drink. Okay. Right? Okay. So with a shaken drink, we're going to need a shaker. Okay. <laughs> Stretching. Stretching out a little bit. <laughs> okay. Okay. Beautiful. Yes. Wow, that's pretty. And this, my friends, is called the Calypso. Why don't you try it and tell me? Oh, I would how be it is. delighted. <laughs> <laughs> so. Wow. I would like you to join my team. <laughs> <laughs> so, what other elements of the bar do you incorporate in your food? Actually, we do a kitchen preparation using scotch. So we do a scotch gel with fish broth for a prawn dish. Nice. Yeah, would Scotching. you like uh, to step inside the kitchen and see how we done it? Ooh, I'd love to. Cool. Let's go. the scotch comes through right in the gel interesting cool. combination thank you very much okay guys leave me to enjoy my food and drink and i'll see you at the next bar ciao